Hi folks, Mike the Car Guy here, and I'd like to share something with you that came up in a conversation today. I was fortunate uh, enough to be invited to participate in a podcast um, hosted by the great Ryan Girardi, Auto Converse, um, doing some great things for the car business, and panel members uh, Mike Phillips and Ben Adler that are just doing some phenomenal stuff with uh, branding and uh, automotive digital and uh, awareness for the dealerships that uh, they work for and, and work with. Uh, ben Adler's doing some great stuff with individual salesperson branding, and that kind of originated the discussion about the power of branding personally for individual salespeople and how dealerships can benefit from that. And I've been a longtime proponent of building your own personal brand, and I've actually taken some flack for it from uh, for quite a few dealerships that kept raising, raising the question of what happens when this salesperson that has a huge following and a big fan base online and a customer base leaves and goes to another store and I've always said why don't you build a culture that promotes that kind of behavior that promotes and engages and, and taps into that power and and really make it a place where the dealership is a place the salesperson doesn't want to leave doesn't ever want to go away and, and go to another dealer at and that's been a fight I've had for a long time in the business and we had a really really good a discussion about some of that uh, a lot of great people chimed in Aaron and Amanda Ryan uh, branding experts and social media whiz. Um, if you get a chance to go back and, and watch the replay of it, uh, it's it's really eye-opening. But we had, or at least for me, I had one of those moments of clarification when uh, a great digital guy, Ralph Paglia, joined the conversation. And he pointed out that in today's world, salespeople have really become tier four marketing. It's this tier four marketing channel. There's tier one, the, the factory, the, the brand that pr promote, promotes themselves. Uh, they're tier two, which is the local or regional groups, you know, Southern California Ford Dealers Association. Uh, and they market for that group of dealerships. And then the dealers, tier three, marketing for itself to bring customers in. But that tier four, just to clarify that, it's really a powerful thing when you put it in that, that perspective. And GMs and, and dealer principals and even GSMs need to recognize that their salespeople who are online have an audience. They have uh, uh, an engaged customer base already. So whether they promote it, <clears throat> whether they agree with it, whether they even like it or not, those salespeople are out there promoting themselves in some form or another. Even if it's just by listing the dealership as their place of employment, they're promoting what they do and what they are. And I think moving forward, the dealerships that really recognize that and start including that tier four marketing channel in their marketing strategies are going to be the ones that survive, that ones that succeed success and continue to build and sell more cars. The, there are a few that are doing it and, and seeing huge rewards on it. And it's funny how many dealers go to dealer 20 group meetings and they go back to their stores and say, we need to do this and this and this, but it never really gets put into play because they don't buy in. They don't believe in the power of social selling. So it kind of just falls off on the wayside. And then they look out and they see the salespeople out on the line, maybe doing a, a video or a walk around, and they grab the sales manager and say, hey, what's that guy doing? He should be looking for an up. If it doesn't start at the top, the culture's not there, it's not going to work. And the dealerships that aren't promoting social selling and building brands with their individual salespeople, that tier four marketing, they're going to lose great salespeople that are engaged with customers to dealerships that really get it. So I think that's really what, what I'm trying to get out there today is just if you're in a dealership management position, really take a look at how you can engage the customer base that your salespeople already have. Start thinking of them as your tier four marketing channel. And I think as you really see the benefits and you open your eyes to it, more and more opportunities and more and more avenues will, will present themselves and you can really take advantage and increase your business without spending any extra more money. I'm Mike the Car Guy. I'd love to talk to you more about it. If you have any questions, give me a call. I'm always available. Have a great day.